Hi, I'm Kelly with American Hydroponics, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to calibrate your IntelliDose. So calibrating the IntelliDose is easy. You go to your menu button, use your down arrow to get to your calibration screen, hit enter. It'll tell you to calibrate your pH first. So you enter it into your pH calibration, and it'll say pH 7.0. So take your probe and put it into your 7.0 solution. Now you're going to want to let this wait for a couple of minutes to temperature compensate. Usually two to three minutes is appropriate. Once you've waited two to three minutes and the probe has temperature compensated, you'll notice that the numbers on the screen will stop moving. At this point, you can actually dial it in and get directly to the 7.0. Holding down the button will make it go faster. Get right to 7.0 and hit continue. Now it'll say pH 4.0 calibration. Make sure that you rinse your probe in water before you put it in the 4.0 solution. And now that we're in the 4.0 solution, we need to wait another two to three minutes to let it temperature compensate. So once you've left it in the solution for two to three minutes, you can use your up and down arrows to get it dialed in directly to 4.0 and hit save and it'll say your new calibration settings have been saved. So now your pH probe is calibrated. Once you go back to the main calibration screen, use the down arrow and it'll tell you EC calibration. It's important that you calibrate the IntelliDose to EC. There are so many different scales of parts per million that calibrating it to parts per million can make it inaccurate. So we recommend that you always calibrate to EC. If you choose to read your nutrients in PPM, you can always go into the configure screen and switch to PPM after you calibrate. Put your nutrient probe into 27.7 solution or an EC 2.77. EC and CF are the same reading. It's just a decimal point moves to the left or to the right depending on which scale you're reading in. So it depends on the calibration solution that you have. So once you've let the probe temperature compensate, which takes two to three minutes, you can use the up and down arrows to dial it in. I'm gonna dial this right into 2.77 and hit save. And now the EC probe has been calibrated and you can exit back out to your main screen. And that's how easy it is. From all of us here at American Hydroponics, happy growing.